Hi everybody, Dr. D. Bunk here. Uh, for those of you who haven't met me yet, I am, my name is Dr. Martin Falopino. I practice in Central California, primary care doc for 40 years. And after about 10 years, I wanted to do more than just be a licensed drug pusher and, and give people drugs that don't really treat disease effectively, don't prevent disease. Uh, we just delay the onset and a lot of other goofy stuff. And not that that's bad. If you're broken with disease, doctors can help you. But human health science is not medical science. And so I'm here to teach people about human health science with the goal being to make you optimally healthy at all decades of life. <clears throat> because if you're really healthy, you can do whatever you want, no matter if you're 20 to 50 to 80 to <clears throat> 100. I plan on living to be 100, and I'm not going to stop working until I'm 90, unless I get stupid. But I have two friends that are going to tell me if I get stupid, because you, you don't want to see a stupid doctor. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so I started Dr. Debunk a while ago, and then got away from it from COVID. Um, but now I'm back and I'm trying to do one or two videos a week. So this video is going to be on two subjects. But before I get into it, I'm going to start doing little two minute tidbits, which are just little bits of health information for you that'll make your health journey better. And today's tidbits is just a reminder if you've never heard this. But doctors don't really fix people. We give drugs to give symptomatic relief and then the body fixes itself. If you're not broken with disease, your body fixes itself. The number one driving genetic force, overwhelmingly so, is that the human body fixes itself. And, and it won't stop fixing itself until you're broken with disease. And so when people get high blood pressure and diabetes and high cholesterol and, and headaches and all these other irregularities, hormone deficiencies, those aren't diseases. Those are just abnormal metabolic reactions or abnormal physiology. Um, and so you need to remove the obstructions in your lifestyle that cause this. But doctors give drugs to just mask it. But really, and they may give you relief, but your body fixes itself. So if you start to get headaches for no reason, or you get skin rashes or other irregularities in your body at any age, give it a couple weeks. Don't run off to the doctor after three or four days when it hasn't gone away. You can usually wait a couple weeks and the body fixes itself. It will. <clears throat> you can take Advil or Leave or any other kind of you know, symptomatic drug reliever. Just like if you get the flu. I did a flu video recently. You should look at it. Because I try to get people off drugs. But when you have the flu, there's five drugs I tell people to take. Because you're only going to be on them for two to five days and you'll be done. But it gives you so much relief because you can't really cure the flu. Tamiflu, that drug that pushed, doesn't work. It's crap. It might work a little if you first, if you get it within 24 hours or something. But anyway, so the tidbit is just hang in there. Do some relief stuff. If you, you know, if you wake up with a sprained neck. That's not just because of how you slept at night. It's been what you've been doing for the last weeks or months. But the body will fix itself. Okay, that's a two-minute tidbit. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about long-haul syndrome today. COVID uh, vaccine long-haul syndrome. So, for those of you that don't know, you know, you know, people got COVID, and then they got something called long-haul syndrome, where it doesn't go away. Basically, what's happening is your body couldn't clear the virus fully. And then you're dealing with these subclinic or, or subclinical kind of infectious scenarios where your body can't fully get rid of the virus. And so you have ongoing symptoms and they can be serious. It's all this myocarditis in young people. It's just catastrophic, you know, but and that's one thing. But there's also long haul vaccine syndrome, which is turning out to be worse, I think. I can't say that for sure, but. Uh, Dr. Malone, the expert, could probably answer that question. But long-haul vaccine syndrome, which is something I treat almost every week, you know, has just been a continued problem because they keep pushing that stupid vaccine, you know, for basically a virus that's a cold or flu now. So who cares? For those of you who don't know that, viruses mutate weaker. COVID-19 now has no ability to do anything other than be a cold or flu. 
So if you're so sick that a flu can kill you, then maybe COVID could do it. But the flu this year is bad, and it's far worse than this little strain of COVID running around. <clears throat> so, and from that, if COVID is only a cold or flu, which is true, absolute science, why do you need a vaccine? Is a healthy person going to die of a cold or flu? No. So COVID is meaningless. Don't test. Don't care. You know, and the flu this year, like I said, is worse than COVID. So, <clears throat> but what's happened uh, with the vaccine and the endless pushing of it is people can't clear the spike protein, you know, and if you don't know what that means, the vaccine tricks your body into making the viral spike protein. And think of the spike protein for COVID-19 as the drill on the nose of the virus that drills into you. So if this is the little virus, my hand, then the spike protein is this front section that kind of drills into your cells so it can get in there. <clears throat> and it's beyond the scope of discussion why they did that. <clears throat> but um, this technology of RNA vaccines has become a nightmare. It is, it's a nightmare. And as you've heard me say in other videos, no one should ever take any RNA vaccine. You're crazy. You don't, you haven't looked at the science at all. If you're doing that, you're, you might as well just drink strychnine poison, you know, because the vaccine's crappy for one. It gives you really weak immunity, which is why you need five boosters. I mean, what vi what vaccine have we ever made where you need five boosters in such a short period of time? It's, it's idiotic. Anyway, so what happens is people get the vaccine and it all goes sideways. And there's a number of mechanisms we see why the vaccine can't be cleared out by people. The vaccine tricks your body into making the spike protein and it's supposed to be around for a couple of weeks and then you clear it out. Well, people can't clear it out. And there's a lot more to that. <clears throat> but the bottom line is, if you don't clear out the spike protein, it just keeps getting into your bloodstream. Your body keeps trying to attack a virus that's not there. And that's the dilemma. It's this huge immune system thing that's going on, trying to fight a virus that isn't there. And that puts you in a chronic inflammatory state. And chronic inflammation drives all disease. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. So people have all these problems from myocarditis to headaches to rashes. It's stomach problems. It's, it's endless because wherever the vaccine went and wherever you continue to make spike protein, that organ is going to suffer. And so over these last two years, a lot has been understood. And so the expert in this, who's very famous now, if you don't know, is Dr. Um, McCullough. <clears throat> And he's the champion. The guy's a hero. He should be given the hero's award for whatever. Because even though he's threatened and been probably stripped of his board certification like Dr. Corey, um, he hasn't stopped. Anyway, a new thing has happened. It's, it's something we realized a few months ago that natokinase was effective. But now bromulin apparently has some uh, science now to support it. And, and then using an anti-inflammatory. Now, they're pro promoting Q-Curamin, but I'm going to tell you about something even better. <clears throat> so the problem is our body's having trouble or your body has having trouble degrading the spike protein. So to degrade the spike protein, we would do it naturally. But because the spike appears abnormally, see, the whole virus isn't there. So your immune system isn't triggered the way it's supposed to be. It's just a spike protein. It's a piece of foreign protein that doesn't belong. Anyway, <clears throat> and someday they'll really understand why people don't get rid of the spike or they make too much of the spike or they continue to make it even after the vaccine is supposedly gone. <clears throat> There's a lot of variabilities here. Anyway, so using these three substances for one to two months or even longer, because they're all natural or safe, can change the course. And I've had people getting better from long haul syndrome doing these treatments. So long haul vaccine syndrome, you know, they're similar. Since the vaccine imitates infection, it has similar mechanisms that are screwing you up, whether you have long haul COVID syndrome where you can't clear the virus or you have long haul vaccine syndrome. So 
natokinase. Natokinase is an enzyme. <clears throat> it's a clot-busting enzyme. It's a natural enzyme that occurs in soy. And 20, 25 years ago, the Japanese uh, did the most scientific work on it. And they showed that natokinase will eat soft clots. And I've used it extensively for 10 years. I get people off blood thinners. There's all kinds of uses for it. And so um, uh, they, we, they've been using it for three or four months now. And I think there's a couple published studies. But you can take 2,000 units twice a day. It's basically two capsules twice a day. Um, and it will degrade the spike protein. It's a great blood thinner, but it's not going to make you bleed out or anything. You can take a lot of that. I've used a lot more. <clears throat> um, but it will degrade the spike protein. And it's a long story how they figured out. I think the Japanese figured it out <clears throat> where they first discovered nano. And so now it's a little pricey. That's going to cost you about 80 bucks a month. But you've got to ask yourself, is it worth it if you're struggling? Because the science is clear that this works. Now, bromulin, bromulain, I don't know if I say it right, it's another proteolytic enzyme. I forget where it comes from. And it's been used a long time for various things by nutritionists and herbalists and naturopaths. <clears throat> but if you take 500 milligrams twice a day, um, it is, it, it, it's effective. Apparently, that's been a new study and um, McCullough is publishing it, I think, or part a co-author. And he said recently it's coming out soon. <clears throat> and so you can do that, which will also help degrade the spike protein. And then the inflammatory reaction that occurs from long haul syndrome is like cell propagating. The more inflammation you have, wherever the spike protein is present, the more it causes a worsening state of the, of the spike protein. Mm. And that's what's not clear, you know, um, uh, there's too much to explain that. But so taking a, na a natural anti-inflammatory is paramount. And that's been something for the last 20 years that's been booming. There's a lot of research and interest now in Q-Curamin, which is what's in the spice turmeric. But honestly, it's way weaker than resveratrol. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, resveratrol is the most well-studied nutrient probably in the history of nutrients. There's 300 papers, 300 laboratory studies, and 20 clinical trials. We know how much to give to cause a significant anti-inflammatory effect. I've used it for 15 years. There's nothing like it. If you have aches and pains of aging, resveratrol will change your life. And again, this isn't just claims. I don't own any resveratrol manufacturing companies. And I'm going to tell you where to get it the cheapest. I don't care. <clears throat> but if you take resveratrol, if you can take 750 milligrams twice a day, um, it's a game changer for anybody struggling with chronic inflammation. And chronic inflammation is the core driving force for all disease. And there's other factors that drive disease. but And so... And this research goes back over 15 years now. <clears throat> like I said, there is no nutrient that's ever been studied as well as resveratrol. It's just not in medicine very much because doctors don't study anything unless it's a drug. And so <clears throat> if you can do it, the only problem with resveratrol is it's a laxative. And many people get diarrhea at, at six capsules a day or 250 milligrams. <clears throat> so I'm going to summarize it. But if you have long haul vaccine syndrome, you must do these therapies. They are natural. It, it's amazing. You don't need a doctor's prescription for any of it. So natokinase, the company I've liked the best for 20 years is called Source Naturals. Mm. And Source Naturals, it's a California based company. I like their vitamins. Their natokinase is pure. It all costs about the same. You can go buy natokinase for half price. You know, a, a bottle of 60 of the uh, 1,000 IUs um, for 20 bucks, but it's junk. So you're going to pay 40 bucks for 60 tablets uh, of the, I think I said it wrong, 2,000. Um, so you have to take 2,000 twice a day. 
Um, and then the next substance, bromulin, you can also get from Source Naturals. And I highly recommend you do that. They have 500 milligram capsules or tablets. And you take that twice a day. <clears throat> so again, it's Source Naturals. And then resveratrol, you can get that from Source Naturals. But the best price is from Costco. And I have no love of Costco. But <clears throat> they, I think, bought out a company called True Nature. And they make resveratrol that's pure, 250 milligram capsule. And that's the best price. It's still about 23 bucks out the door for a bottle that will last you about a month. <clears throat> and so you take three of those twice a day. So it's Source Naturals brand and the True Nature from Costco. But you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it anywhere. You know, but they got the best price. And if you'll do all that, <clears throat> they're all twice a day. You could... You could take them all together. You should take them with food. Well, no. You can take you take bromelain uh, and and resveratrol with food, but natokinase has to be on an empty stomach, so you're going to have to alter that. But it's critical to do twice a day dosing, and it's uh, a resveratrol is absolutely essential. If you don't take it twice a day, it won't work, and it has to do with the half life and the peak plasma level of these substances in your blood, and resveratrol especially. But I am excited to start these, these new protocols. You know, I've been doing some natokinase, but <clears throat> I have been wanting to look at bromulin, and now Dr. McCullough has come out with it, and he has been right for three years on every single aspect of COVID, just like Dr. Corey and Dr. Malone. You know. And so that's pretty much it. So if, if, if um, just look back in the video a little bit if you uh, need to refer, but you can get all this stuff online. Um, it would be a little pricey, but do a two-month therapy. I, I think we're going to see a dramatic drop in long-haul vaccine syndrome by doing this. So that's it. I'm Dr. Debunk. Uh, the other thing I was going to do, I'll do on another video because this took, 17 minutes. Wow. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.